Next news is out of Alabama, USA. A TV youth pastor gets 1,008 years in prison for sexually abusing children. So here's the story, guys. Finally, in America, not only in America, in Alabama, um, a, a preacher finally gets his, his just uh, sentence for sexually abusing children. Uh, it's not five years like we reported on recently, but 1,008 years in prison on 28 counts of sex crimes against six boys. Um, yeah, so he also has to pay monetary fines of $840,000. I don't know how he's going to get around to doing that. But uh, this guy actually, he's a, he's a public speaker. Um, he does his, his YouTube uh, preacher for youth. Okay. He's all about youth and teaching youth about Christ. Uh, and he's connected to Roy Moore. For you, those of you who don't know who Roy Moore is, he uh, was a politician who was running in Alabama, who was also during his run, uh, several people accused him of molesting children. Um, so this guy is, is connected to Roy Moore. Um, the, the children that he abused were between 12 and 16 years old at the time, and now they're young adults. Well, okay. Um, is this like, why is this a surprise? Because in Alabama, people get away with stuff like this? Like, why is, um, or is well, this? In the United States, especially over the last two years, a lot of the stories that we've reported on have been preachers getting really reduced sentences and judges oh. saying things like, well, look at everybody sitting before us. Um, you know, this was a really good guy. Um, he obviously did a lot for his community, so he's not going to get, you know, a harsher sentence. This guy, though, actually went in and pled guilty. So that's kind of a strange thing. His whole, like, motto is take accountability for your actions, take accountability for what you've done. Mm -hmm. um, so he went in and said, yes, I did this. I did all of this, and his his in the the accusations against him were gross. Um, you know, sodomy charges and things of that nature, um, and, and just about every crime, sexual crime you can commit on a child who was charged with twenty eight charges for six children. He got a lot, um, and he went in and said, "Yes, guilty of all of it." Um, he did try to use the fact he did want special things taken into consideration for his sentencing. Uh, one of those things was that he was sexually molested when he was a child. Um, but the judge wasn't having it in this case, um, and said, no, you're, you're going to get the maximum punishment you can get for what you've done. Good. good. And that is, that is rare. Okay. Uh, it's, but when they say, oh, look, at this is a good person. So let the, let's give them a reduced sentence by good. They mean Christian. Right. Right. <laughs> right. So yeah, it's Christian it's Christian privilege, right? Um but yeah, and, and, and another thing is that you know this guy when you when you say this guy is about accountability, I think the way that they a lot of Christians look at it is that this guy doesn't he's he thinks he's right with the Lord, right? So he might not be right with the law, but with Jesus, you know, and again Christianity and many other religions give you the license to sin as much as you want as long as you just believe in jesus and ask for forgiveness right it's the exact the exact opposite of what people say people are like oh uh, religion gives you morality well no if you actually study the doctrine you say you see that no it actually gives you uh, the permission to do whatever you want and go to heaven because you ask for forgiveness to Jesus, not even to the victims, but to Jesus, right? Again, it's, it's right. a bit different in Islam, but in Christianity, it's like that. It's definitely like that, right? So you have the opportunity to do whatever you want. Um, if you read the Bible, uh, you can see that the way that people are decided whether to go to hell or not is if they believe in Jesus or not. It makes that very clear. It has, it, you could, you could, have, you could rape an entire, you could rape the half of a planet and just, to, and and murder the, the other half and be like hey jesus sorry i you know ask for forgiveness and you're in heaven so there, yeah. there's stipulation so i'm glad that you brought that up you have to ask for forgiveness and you have to repent, repent. um but here's the deal with repent in, in in the christian realm of things uh at least you know especially in my religion growing up is you must attempt to repent right and jesus knows your heart so he knows if you're truly sorry um and if you know two months from now you're tempted to do something else and you you 
do the same thing over again, um, you can just ask for forgiveness again and tell them that you'll repent. So you can do this repeatedly your entire life. You can be each a complete monster and on your deathbed be like, right. hey, I, I repent. You can't even get up and go anywhere. You're about to die. But that's that's no problem. You're allowed, you're right. allowed to do it. Ask for forgiveness. Repent. You're gold. So, so somebody in the live chat is saying that's a very biased view. No Christian I know has that view. Well, because most Christians are better than Christianity. I could tell you another thing that right. most mo most Christians don't believe. Uh, mo if you ask Christians, do you think a woman should be able to teach, or should a woman should should a woman be able to have a position of leadership? Should a woman be able to speak, uh, or or should a woman be um, you know, sub, you know, submit to her husband. Most Christians are like, "Are you crazy?" No, no. Of course, Christian. Uh, of course, women should be able to teach. Of course, women should should be able to have a position of leadership. Well, guess what? If you read the Bible, no, 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 they shouldn't be able to, according to the Bible, according to the New Testament, right? So, but most Christians don't believe that. Most Christians f think that's fine. Um, so again, just because most Christians don't believe something that doesn't mean christianity doesn't teach that because again just like most most muslims are better than islam uh, most christians are better than christianity most jewish people are better than judaism um yeah, let me see what the top comment is uh pedro is saying well that is kind of an eternity mission accomplished Oh, that's regarding to the sentencing, the t uh, 1008. All right, let's... Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.